Hello and welcome to this PITCO training video. In this video we will review the filtering procedures for the reduced oil volume style fryers. Filtering the ROV fryer is a very simple process. The computer can be programmed to let you know when it is time to filter. If the display on the computer shows filter soon, you should run a filter of the oil for that vat within the next few cook cycles. If the display shows filter lock, you must filter before any further cooks can be started. In order to filter, the fryer must be on, full of oil, and the oil up to an operating temperature. Pressing the center filter button brings you to the filter options menu. First is filter yes or no. Second is polish yes or no. Third is dispose yes or no. If you press no for all the options, it will bring you back to the normal operating mode. Now let's run a filter. Our display shows filter soon, so we know we need to run a filter within the next few cook cycles. Hot oil can cause serious burns to you and or others. Before starting any filtering procedure or moving of hot oil, wear and use any personal protective equipment or PPE you are required by your employer. Use your cleaning brush to move all the crumbs and debris from the foam zone into the oil. Brush all crumbs and debris from the sides of the vat into the oil as well. Use the drain cleanout rod and or the cleaning brush to lift the basket screen off the burner tubes and set upright on the inside of the fryer vat. Brush any debris off the sides and or the tops of the burner tubes. This allows any settled debris to be stirred up and flow out of the drain more easily. For current models, press the center filter button to bring up the filter options menu. If running a filter only, press the yes button or the six key. Again, to start the filter, press the center filter key. The display should read filter yes or no. Press the yes key or the six key. The display should have a scrolling display of is filter pan in place. If the filter pan is in place, press the yes key. If the filter pan is not in place, locate the filter pan and install it. The display should now scroll is filter pan empty. Open the cabinet door and verify that the filter pan is empty. The filter pan only holds one vat's worth of oil, so it is very important to make sure it is empty before running any filter operations. Press the yes button if the filter pan is empty. Display now scrolls auto filter now. This is a final question to be sure you are wanting to run a filter program. Pressing the yes button will start the filter process and open the drain. When prompted, open the cabinet door, verify that the filter pan is in place as well as empty. Make sure the filter cap screen is tight as well. Pressing the yes button after the display shows auto filter now will start a countdown timer on the display. This is the total amount of time you have until the filter process should be complete. While the drain is open and the oil is draining into the filter pan, use your cleaning brush to clean the burner tubes, front, back and sides of the vat and any other spots you see in the fryer that need scrubbing. Within a short amount of time, the motor will activate and the pump will circulate oil from the filter pan to the vat. Use a non-abrasive pad or rag to clean the vat while the oil is recirculating. Do not leave any tools or accessories in the drain. A warning will beep and scroll across the display, alerting you to when the drain is closing. Remove any tools from the drain at this time.
the oil fills back up into the vat, replace the basket screen back to the top of the burner tubes. When the timer reaches zero, it will beep, signaling it is complete, and scroll, is vat full, on the display. If the vat is full, press the yes button to confirm. This will end the filter procedure, and the fryer will turn off. If the vat is not full at the end of the filter procedure, press the no or zero button. This allows the pump and motor to run an additional 20 seconds. You can press no three times consecutively before the unit goes into a service air. Turn the fryer back on and allow to reheat oil to set temperature. Polish mode works the same way as a filter does. Normally, a polish gets run once a day and allows the oil to be recirculated through the filter media for a longer period of time than a standard filter. Thank you for watching this instructional video on the Pitco Reduced Oil Volume Frying System. If you need assistance or more information, please contact us at 603-225-6684 or visit us on our webpage at www.pitco.com.